Okay, so following on from my previous video where I walked you through setting up the visual docking guidance system in GSX, I thought I'd also show you another option which is the Null Aero VDGS. Um, maybe you're not a GSX user or maybe you're just looking to try an alternative. I know GSX can be pretty buggy, especially in 2024. And I think Null Aero works great and it's also freeware, so definitely worth checking out. Right, we are on stand 9 in Keflavik and we'll run through the Null Aero setup and then we'll get the plane out to the runway and taxi back onto the same stand just to see how accurate the VDGS guides us back in. As you can see, the screen is currently blank, so let's hop inside the flight deck and get started. So there's the VDGS right in front of us. As I said, completely blank, so how do we get Null Aero up and running then? First of all, we need to hop over to their website. So I will hop over to my browser and we need to go to vdgs.null.ee and that brings you to this landing page where it just gives you a bit of an overview about VDGS and then we've also got some features as well so you can just have a read over those familiarize yourself with the product and then this is quite cool uh, it's got a data link option where it says our docking devices support the exchange of airport collaborative decision making information over a data link with VATSIM this means that at major airports you can see data related to your flight directly on docking devices and VATSIM controllers can send updates if there are delays or any changes, which does sound very cool. OK, so we've also got a supported airports tab and that brings up this little map here and if we just zoom in we can see all the airports that have got Null Aero VDGS supported. We've obviously got Gatwick and Heathrow, Belfast and where we are on stand is Keflavik, which is just up here. And this has got a green marker, which means it's got that data link uh, feature if we wanted to use this on the VATSIM network. So uh, that would be pretty cool. And it also gives you the scenery which this is compatible with, which is the MK Studios Keflavik, which I have installed. OK then, so to the installation, and we're going to be doing the interactive installation, which basically gives you uh, a little wizard to get it set up. So let's click on the releases link. And we are in MSFS 2024, so we'll open those. And then we just need to pick the correct version. I'm on the store version of the sim. So that's this top one here. We'll download that. It'll just come up with a security warning and we'll allow that to download. There we go. So that is all downloaded and looking good. So let's find those files then. So in this window on the right, that's my downloads there. So we will unzip that and then we can just run the installer by clicking next and next again. And that'll just run through its installation process a couple of seconds and there we go so that's all done and we can click finish and then if we go over to this window on the left that's my community folder for MSFS 2024 if we scroll down to the bottom we can see there that's where Null Aero has been installed and then we're going to click on this icon at the bottom that says rescan devices and that's just going to search our sim for all our supported airports that will just take a few seconds and there we go so we can hit any key to continue and that is the setup complete. So what we'll do now is we'll just hop back into the sim. There we go. And I'm going to get the plane out to the runway. And similar to what we did in the previous GSX video, I'm going to taxi back to the same stand just so we can see how accurately the VDGS guides us back in. So I will catch up with you again very shortly. Right, here we are then taxiing back to stand 9. I've actually wound the time on to midnight so it's a bit darker so you can see the VDGS a little bit clearer. Although we are in Iceland so this is about as dark as it gets to be fair. Right, so just turning in left now. Looking out for our stand 9 marker. There it is. So next right onto stand 9 then. And as we turn in right we should be able to see the VDGS picks us up pretty early. So let's just turn in now. Try and get it bang on that centre line. That's looking decent. And it has captured us now. And we can see if we just zoom in, it's got our aircraft type A320. And we are bang on that centre line. And we just need to slow down. And 6 metres, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and stop. And the moment of truth, have we gone too far? No, we're okay. So, uh, let's get our parking brake set. And we'll hop down to the tablet and set our chocks. 
and we'll also request our ground power and we'll pop the ground power on and shut down both engines right good so let's hop outside and just see how accurately it has guided us in as you can see we are pretty much bang on the mark there with our nose wheel gear so no problem with the accuracy at all so yeah impressive and it's also probably worth pointing out whilst I've used null aero straight out of the box you can also combine it with GSX if for example you want to still have the GSX ground handling equipment but want to use null aero for your docking it's pretty simple you just need to download the profile from flightsim.to and just check the description and it usually says something like compatible with null aero VDGS and then you just drop that config file in your virtuali GSX folder and you're good to go Okay, I am going to wrap it up there for today. That concludes my installation guide for the Null Aero VDGS in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe you learnt something new. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.